Al Ain Zoo was founded in 1968 by Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan, the late ruler of Abu Dhabi and President of United Arab Emirates. It has 400 hectares or 990 acre. Zoo located in the foothills of Jibril Hafid in Al Ain, Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. This is our Al Ain tickets, and we are entering now inside. We paid 31.50 dirham or 8.50 dollars. Children three year old below are free. Amigo, mga amiga. So for today's video, I'm very excited because we are here in Al Ain Zoo. So why we are here? First reason is because of my child. Second reason is to show you the white tiger. And the third reason is how to feed the giraffe. And the fourth reason is all animals. <laughs> so, and the fifth reason why we're here because it's holiday. So we are here. So. Samahan niyo po akong mag-enjoy and come on, let's go! Grabe, sobrang daming tao. Mom, sinira na doon. Toyo pe! Mute yung tayo today. Don't you know that the Arabian Oryx or the White Oryx is the smallest member of the genus Oryx, native to desert and steppe areas of the Arabian Peninsula? The Sheikh Zayed Desert Learning Center is an important educational facility combining knowledge and learning through interactive exhibits, multimedia, and visual materials. <laughs> Say hello, Mina. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. So my husband is my location map because I'm very, very stupid about location. We're on the way to see the lions, and I'm so excited to see the lions. Even though, you know, it's like how many times I've been here, but still, it's still. I'm still super excited to see white lions, tigers, especially um, feeding giraffes. This is the best part here in Al Ain Zoo. So I'm gonna show you all the animals that I can see here as much as possible. Right, mom? Yes, and also feeding uh, lions. <laughs> I already told that the feeding lions. What are <laughs> <laughs> feeding lions or giraffe? Feeding the lions, I know, not feeding the lions, feeding the giraffes. No, I, I, I mean, feeding the lions. <laughs> feeding the lions on me. Don't you know that the lion is the only member of the cat family that displays obvious sexual deformism? Sexual deformism is the condition where the two sexes of the same species exhibit different characteristics beyond the differences in their sexual organs. So this is African lion. He is eating right now. <laughs> So this is the lioness, the African lioness. Samu, Samu. Over there. Samu, estaba comiendo. Estaba comiendo. Over there is the African lion. So look at this mini forest over here. I can hear the sound of the birds. So guys, they're gonna feed now the tiger. Don't you know that the white tigers tend to grow faster and heavier than the orange tiger? White tigers only exist in captivity. They are color morph of the wild tiger. This white coloration is caused by a recessive gene. 
Why tigers only exist in zoos and animal collections? Don't you know that the chimpanzee have very closely related to humans, sharing 98% of the same DNA? So these are the gorillas. Don't you know that the DNA of gorillas is highly similar to that of humans from 95 to 99% depending on what is included and they are the closest living relatives to humans after the chimpanzees and bonobos. Hi guys. Hi. So what can you say about the gorilla? Who is eating shit? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh. <laughs> eating the eating the lugo. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start. start, 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 start. <laughs> hey guys, so it's not very clear. But these are the sacred baboons. Don't you know that the Hamadryas baboon was a sacred animal to the ancient Egyptians and appears in a various roles in ancient Egyptian religion, hence its alternative name of sacred baboon. Baboons do not like being stared at, they consider it a threat. The sun. Don't you know that the Patas monkey, instead of swinging from trees for locomotion, this monkey runs on all fours, arms and feet, and it runs fast up to 55 km per hour. So this is the ostrich. Don't you know that the pink or reddish color of flamingos comes from carotenoids in their diet of animal and plant plankton? Flamingos are very social birds. They live in colonies whose population can number in the thousands. Large colonies are believed to serve three purposes for the flamingos. First, avoiding predators. Second, maximizing food intake. And third, using scarcely suitable nesting sites for more efficiency. Puma is sleeping. Don't you know that the banded mongoose have long strong claws that allows them to dig in the soil? They have large head, small ears, short, muscular limbs in a long tail, almost as long as the rest of the body. So bird sanctuary. We are here right now. The summer's calling. Yes. The kingdom's overthrown. Meet me at the cornerstone. I know that I can't be without you. This bond is solid gold We're a diamond and an emerald It took me forever to find you Cause when it's all over The love that you give Will be there to guide you in every way So hey guys, it's almost dark And this is our last animals that we will visit. The giraffe had to say they close the feeding, so we will not gonna feed today. So we will just watch it, alright? Don't you know that the giraffe is the tallest living terrestrial animal and the largest ruminant? The giraffe's tongue usually measures 18 to 20 inches long. In the wild, Giraffes almost never lay down because of the vulnerability to predators. They usually sleeping standing, sometimes sitting, and they give birds standing up. When giraffes sleep, they curl their necks and sleep for about 5 minutes at a time, sleeping no more than 30 minutes a day. Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed our vlog today. Bye!
So as usual, they have ref magnets, stuff toys, stuff toys, cups, notebooks, umbrella, pouches, toys. They have snow globes but super small. I have already before so I will not buy now. Stuff, toys, have t-shirts. So they have kitchen. So right now we are going home. So I hope you enjoy our trip today. We are super, super, super tired. So bye for now. See you in my next vlog.